Welcome to part three of creating a robot controlled by ChatGPT. Please make sure to like and subscribe. By the end of this video, hopefully we'll be having a conversation with this little guy. Oh geez. It's just a robot run by AI. It's not like anything could go wrong, Morty. We got a lot to get through in this video, so let's blaze on through the rest of the wiring and start testing this thing out. Now, I've forgotten to mention this before, but ChatGPT is actually helping to design this robot. So it's essentially making itself. All right, so all that's left is mounting and hooking up the battery, and then we can power up the pie. Well, here's the moment of truth. Will it blow up? Power switch. Yeah. Looks like it's working. We're there. We are officially inside of the brain of the robot. All the circuits are connected. It's powered on. I can connect to it and start loading code on this thing. I think it's time to start playing around with it. I have been trying and trying and I cannot figure out how to make this microphone work. I think I'm about to spend $20 several days later. Okay, so we're gonna replace this microphone right here and all of the amplifier circuitry down here, the, the capacitors, the transistor, and the uh, digital to analog converter. We're gonna replace all that with the WaveShare hat right here, the WaveShare audio hat. This will give us high quality uh, microphones and high quality audio output to the speaker. So this will be a lot better than the chat GPT design circuitry we were using before. And now we got all this extra space on the proto board for other stuff in the future. Okay, let's go ahead and get it put back together and remove the old microphone. That way we can begin testing again. Let's test it out. Hello, hello, hello. Hmm. A few moments later. Well, it's possible we can't use this audio module with the Raspberry Pi Zero. Might have to go ahead and upgrade. But that's okay, because it's gonna get upgraded eventually anyways. Uh, when I buy a Pi 5 to do advance. No, um, we're gonna make a little riser thing that attaches to where the old Raspberry Pi attaches and it'll raise it up above the wheels. That way it can, it can fit in. It'll definitely give it a lot more capability just using the, the Pi 3 right here. But when we get a Pi 5, then that's, that's when it really changes. But the Pi 5 is the same size as this too. Set it up to work with this then in the future we can easily upgrade it because all we do is swap out the pie and everything else is ready to go it'll integrate perfectly so i'm pretty sure it doesn't work with the raspberry pi zero i'm gonna move everything over to this one and see if it works we're gonna try to make a recording real quick got all this set up on the pi 3 so let's test it out it says it's recording so, hopefully it is. Alright, so it's done recording. Let's play the recording back. It says it's recording. So, hopefully it <laughs> is. Okay. Alright, well. Now we can build an AI robot and I guess take everyone's jobs. <laughs> 